everyone and welcome back. This is lesson 1.4 and so we have this piece here and um, just again for reference this is our inspiration piece. So let's go ahead and move on to the next part of our tutorial. So um, in the last one you colored up the clouds, um, added the little roads, and also added your text. So we're just going to start adding a little bit of detail with our paint markers. Um, really have a lot of fun. You don't have to copy me. Do what feels good to you. So the first thing I'm going to do is just I'm going to come in here and um, line my road. And I want this to kind of look like a sidewalk. So I'm just going to add some lines and I'm not making my um, my lines parallel. I like it to look whimsical. That's the word I was looking for in the last video, whimsical. So again, aligning my road. Adding in the little sidewalks. And the other thing I try to always have on hand is a piece of um, paper to, sorry, sometimes the pen gets a little, um, although I could be running out of ink, gets a little like, I don't know, clogged or something, so um, you just want to wipe it off on a on a piece of scratch paper. Okay, so that is good. Sorry. And then um, the next thing I'm going to do is I really, 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 really like little checks. And so um, I'm just going to kind of um, start adding in some little stripes and stuff, little checks. So I'm using my bigger marker. And um, you could do this a couple ways. You could draw out the lines with your small one, your small pen, like that. Or you can just color them directly with your larger pen. It's up to you. And I try to make sure, sometimes I want them uniform. Sometimes I want them kind of, um, kind of lopsided. So I'm just going to make that one a little lopsided. And let's do the same for this side. Okay, and then um, I'm going to do something to the little house, the little roofs on the houses. So I'm just going to add in some little funny little lines. And then do, let's see. Do the same for the top one. Okay. 
And yes, I am pretty quick at that. I try to go pretty quickly. I find when I slow down that that's when I make the mistakes. But you do what's comfortable to you. Okay, um, the next thing that I want to do is I want to add in some... Um, actually, I want to make the lines on the house a little bit broader. Okay. Um, the next thing I want to do is um, I want to make these little roads kind of um, black and white. I think I'm finally starting to run out of ink in these pens. Oh, and did you just see what I just did? How I just primed it? I just pushed up and down with my marker on my journal. Don't do that. You're going to end up with a big flood of ink. I just did it again. Um, yeah, don't do that. If you, that happens, just wipe it off with a towel and then, um, you know, resume. Your art journal is not a place of fine art. This is a place to experiment. So, you know, don't feel like, oh my gosh, I just ruined it with, you know, something stupid I just did. Um, take your mistakes. Learn from them. And then turn those mistakes into happy mistakes. Happy accidents. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is, um, I love the look of little dots and stuff. So, I'm just going to follow these little roads with just little tiny dots. It gives it a very whimsical little look. And then I'll do this side. Okay, and then um, I'm going to do the same thing with my, um, let's see, actually, you know what, let's do some little flowers, um, and no, we're not going to get, you know, super fancy here. Um, let me go ahead and dry this off real quick. So all I'm going to do is just draw some little lines and then add a little circle on top. Funny little flowers. Okay, and then let's go ahead and add some little dots and stuff. Um, around our little clouds. And continuing on over there. And then I try not, when I have another line, I try not to touch it. Because my background is blue, I really, I like it when there's some contrast in my clouds. So, um, and I don't like this area over here because my background is blue and my cloud is blue. So I'm going to take my, my white pen, wherever it is, and I'm just going to add a little line underneath it like that to give it some contrast. And I'll do the same for for um, the other sides. Okay. 
and um, just gonna add a couple little dots and stuff with the white. Okay, and then I'm going to take my big marker and um, I'm not well. No, I'm not going to take my big marker. I'm still using my white. So all I'm going to do now is um, add some white details to my letters. As you can see, I kind of work randomly. I work all over the page at once. And the fun thing to do is, um, you know, when I was first looking at art journaling pages, I thought, you know, do they always start, do they start with their words? Do they start with their images? And um, the more I kind of delved into it, the more I liked when the images went in first and then the words kind of fit in. It just looked a lot more fun that way. So that's the style that um, that I go after is I put in my images first and then I put in my um, my words. And then the other thing I do is I, I'll paint out a bunch of backgrounds first and then I will um, go in and um, you know when I'm inspired go in and add to it. So there's that. And then the last thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to finish out this border with my bigger pen. Again, I like the whimsical look, so this just adds to that look. And then I like to do, um, I like to do a variety of borders. I like to do check borders. Um, on this one I did, it has a double border, it has a small border, and then it has an, out, an outer scalloped border. I'm trying to see if there's anything else in this one. Um, here's one with a scallop border. Really, you know, do whatever makes you happy. Let me see. Here's one with a check border and a scallop. Um, just kind of a um, dashed border. Here's one with um, a different type of check. Here's one with um, dots and lines. Do whatever makes you happy. Um, on this one, I think for, let's see, I'm just going to do some dots. Whoops, see, that's what happens when you push down on it when it's right on your page. So I'm just going to blot it up. And not that I'm glad that I did that, but I am kind of glad that I did that so that you can see why you shouldn't do it. And this is hard for me to do this angle, so... Okay, so there you go. There's your finished page. Um, the last thing I would do is somewhere on your page, find a place to sign it. I actually don't sign my pages with my signature. Um, I had an accident once where I had smudged a page with my fingerprint, but I liked it so much that that's what I use. I just stamp it in a distress ink 
and I put a little tiny fingerprint in the corner of all my pages. So um, there you go. Have some fun and um, show me what you guys have created.